This study has unequivocally shown that this device is better than a bare metal stent for treatment of patients uh, at high risk of bleeding who are going to only have one month of death. Um, Sigmund, the real question is going to be for such patients, who are those patients who should only get one month of daft? Um, and if they might be able to tolerate longer than one month of daft, where does this device fit in compared to other best in class drug eluting stents compared to one month, three months, six months, or 12 months of daft? We obviously don't have a randomized trial to answer that question, but we have to make treatment decisions uh, you know, for our patients. Yes, uh, Greg, well, we always have to differentiate what do we treat? Do we treat the stent or do we treat the patient? If we, if we treat the stent, we do this for preventing stent thrombosis, then of course shorter depth is better. But uh, if you say, I want to treat the patient, you go for longer depth. Well, these patients with a high bleeding risk, they have no option. You have to shorten the depth. Uh, duration and to me this is a milestone study because uh, the rural urban and the co investigators really have the guts to write one month of depth for a drug eluting or drug coding stand into the protocol. So when I come home uh, on Monday uh, I'll ask myself when do I use the stand? It is CE certified. Um, I probably maybe I would even use it uh, in other patients too. I mean uh, uh, what is Philip's opinion? Uh, why shouldn't I use it in a 74-year-old patient as well, in a 60-year-old patient? I mean, if I can have one month of depth, uh, why shouldn't we do this? So, so let me modify that question. So Phil, do you believe that this drug-eluting stent without any polymer coating is as effective as other best-in-class drug-eluting stents, such that it might be, even though again you haven't gone head-to-head, -head, you know, a routine workhorse day-to-day -day DES? Yep. Well, I mean, <clears throat> the bottom line is what I believe doesn't really matter. There's, there's simply not a lot of data out there to tell us that it's as good as a DES face-to-face. -face. And so, for the time being, I think that this is the best option for these patients, but I would still give a DES with guideline recommended that to any other patient. Yeah. Well, look, this was an extraordinary study. I want to congratulate you and the leaders, free uh, investigators, and thank you for presenting this today.